What is up, everybody? I am Shazel Games, and I'm here once again with another episode of Dust and Elysian Tale. An Elysian Tale. Uh, and in the last episode, we inadvertently went to the next chapter of the game, and I can't really fix that now, so whatever. We'll, we'll worry about side quests when we get out of the underground. Like, I refuse to go down. He let out, like, a deathly scream when he went down. Maybe it was because he was dying. I wonder if we'll see that big stone guy again. Because he was really cool. Oh my fucking god. There. Pain. Go back up the way I came because I fell down again. Because I'm bad at video games. Or something. Bruh. Bruh. Fuck. I used the mushroom. There we go. Fuck this shit. I'm out. No, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> let me get back up there. Thank you. Thank you, guy, for being in the way. Because you being in the way helped me get back to where I need to be. My controller was vibrating violently, telling me that you should probably stop or you take a lot of damage. Nope. No poison for you, fuckhead. That's one of the assholes who poisoned us in the last episode. So. Child. This is a different one. Oh no, he's the same one. Don't run away. Dust, maybe you should say something. Wait. He dropped the mushroom. Aw. Let's follow him. Well, at least he replaced the mushroom I just used like a dumb shit. Um. Which way did he go is the real question, because they gave us split paths right now. There we go. Ooh. <sighs> well. Thank you, shoddy hitboxes, for flinging me all over the place. Fuck you. Bruh. There we go. Stay dead. No. There, stay over there. I don't feel like fighting you guys. Hmm. So RuPaul's Drag Race is ending soon. I'm sad about that because the season was so good. I liked. I actually liked all the queens for once, which doesn't happen very often. Save point. Ooh. Fuck. There we go. Dust. There. Why you gotta fucking face the wrong way like a di like a jidiot? I didn't say dumb shit, but I lost my words. I literally don't know why I stopped talking. So I was talking about RuPaul's Drag Race. So RuPaul's Drag Race is ending soon. I'm I'm sad, but at the same time I'm glad because all the queens this season were so good. Hey, kimchi, I didn't expect kimchi to get as far as she did. I'm sorry, kimchi, if you ever do actually watch this. Um, let me... Let's go for attack. By attack, I mean health. So, kimchi is very interesting. Cause she's like a very artsy type. Like, her makeup is very impressive. You just have to, like, see her to understand what I'm saying. Because you can tell she puts a lot of effort into her artistry. And I can appreciate that. And then... There's Bob the Drag Queen, who is... Hilarious! Like, I could wish... I could only wish to ever be as funny as Bob the Drag Queen. And he lives nearby. Like, I could literally just go into New York City and go see him in a show. Because I live, like... 10 minutes away from the city. I'm not far. I live in New Jersey. Chicken. Where'd we get wall chicken from? None of these men's are walls. And then Naomi Smalls was... I think Michelle Visage said the best way to describe her was underdog. Because she was another one I didn't expect to get very far. And she did. She'd, she'd made it very far. So I can respect that. What's this way? I still don't know if this is the way we should be going, because 
the game didn't really specify what way we should be going. It was like, oh, follow the kid, and then it's like, I don't know where the kid went, so... Y'all the assholes. Fuck you. Tried to run away, but... Didn't work. Fuck. 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 I'm bad. Fuck. Fuck! I'm gonna die right now. Why do I not remember how to fucking parry? Bruh! There we go. Fuck you. Why was that so hard? Hope they don't make me fight another one, because... I'm low on health right now. Wall chicken. Thank you. I need to throw more healing items my way. And not mushrooms, because mushrooms don't heal anything, and you use them to get rid of poison. I picked up a pendant. Ornamental pendant. Ten defense, two luck. Two attack, four defense, one luck. Uh, I can do with a little attack drop. It's fine. I was hoping for more health items, but I guess not. Thank you, game. These guys are kind of annoying. Oh my god! They silenced Fidget. Rest in peace, Fidget. No. No poison. What? There was no way he hit me. Mm. Alright, so this was the right way, because the flag is telling me it was. But it better be, or I'm gonna mad. I think I need a merchant more than anything. Thank you for going down. Literally. It's weird recording, because sometimes recordings either go super fast or super slow. Like, the last episode of Dust I recorded felt like it went by in two minutes, but it was actually like 18. Thank you for healing me, heal spot. I really needed that. Yes, I will save my game. Thank you. Child. Hello. I'm gonna guess he's a moonblood child. Hey, he dropped more food. Thank you. There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts, and it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. Scary. They react rather explosively to movement. What's with this fucking game and explosions? Just gotta be careful. 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 That one, ooh. That one's gonna poison us like a fuck. That's, Cause that's what it looks like. Nope. Ooh. Right. Just gotta be careful. Ooh. Thank you for healing me. Will you heal me again? No. Merchant. Six attack, three luck. I think I have better. I'm fine with more defense. I wish there was more who that would heal me. Healing. Thank you. No, don't hurt me. Beautiful. Ooh. Try to double switch us right now. Darkness? Oh, okay. It just didn't load. I was confused. Save point. Probably be a good idea to save, huh? 
So I feel like there's a boss fight coming up. I feel like a boss fight. Healing. Thank you. Always be nice to mushrooms that heal you. Because God knows no one else will heal you. Hmm. This is the way we came from the other path? Fuck this guy behind me. I honestly didn't even see him. He just sort of blended into the background. Fuck you. Get out of here. Ooh, a blueprint. Ring of the Apprentice blueprint. Wait. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. We couldn't go this way if we wanted. I'm gonna fly my way past these guys. Bye. Big dude. There he is! Look, he's in trouble! Ah! Leave me alone! I'm sure this kid's a moon blood. Huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprout dust, or this battle will be over before it begins. Ugh, you gonna throw bubble spouts into this right now? Eh. These monsters need to stop. Ow. Bubble sprouts are kind of fucking me right now. Oh, I'm poisoned. Eh, mushroom. There. Ow. Ooh, I need to heal myself. Set the bottom. There. Beautiful. I saved the child. And that guy just sort of hanged out. Okay. guy. There he goes again. You're welcome, kid. Yeah, for real. Like, I saved your life and life. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him and maybe get out of this raining death. Oh man, I like raining death. Just get that guy out of my way. Eh. I was hoping for one would just heal me, but I guess not. Is this a new area? It is. It's an underground town. That's weird. Mud pot. All right, this isn't what I expected, but here we are. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Sounds like plan. These sheep are cute. Bye, cute sheep. I love you. There he is. Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. <laughs> She's kind of cute. Sorry. Goodness, what would I do if you've gotten yourself hurt? Ah, Mama, look! The things must have followed me! How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers! <laughs> she does see that I can fly, right? I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Yeah, for real. Like, what was the point of saying that, Fidget? You dumb fuck. Got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it. The baby's like, why am I here? Trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. Huh? What are they talking about, Bopo? <laughs> Bopo. Um, <laughs> they have been following me for a while. He's got a cute name. Bopo. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. That's so relatable. Oh, Holy God. shit. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course you're from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking, flying weasel cat thing down here. Yeah, for real. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all, we underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Unfortunate. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. Wow. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. Wait! That's enough, Bopo! 
You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again. You already have the spoon Mom, out. I've seen them fight. They even got themselves a talking sword. I bet they could help. Could we? Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't want their help. All right. Stop saying that. How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. To find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. But that still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that! I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too! Oh. Mama! I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. Possibly. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple <sighs> weeks since the water dried up. But every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. That makes sense. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. Is it possible she died? I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. She's probably you dead. Do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Probably. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks? So... You're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? Um, no, I've decided your pa can go Just fuck himself. Off again. You got my word. Oh, too late. He's already gone. Dust to dust. You've discovered a small village of mud pop. Mud pop. Mud pot deep in the Saroman caverns. Bopo's father is dying and can only be saved by a creature called the lady. Explore the village to find a way to a chamber. There's no save point in this village? I see how it is. Oh, hi, tiny girl. Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. I farted. You guys oh, probably heard that. It's a flying cat. Oh. She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. Brood. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we'd met. Can I hold it? I want it. Just do something. It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Relatable. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hashtag marketability. Hey. Oh, I want her. She talks. I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look. That must be Reed's box. Convenient. Hmm. Tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Fun. Phew. Good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Arona had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah. Maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. Brutal. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> Just killed Fidget. A better Fidget. Smobop in Mud Pots insists that she must have Fidget. Resisting the urge to give her the real thing, you decide to find a suitable replacement, preferably in the form of a Fidget doll. Your best bet would be the shopkeeper in Aurora Village. Sounds like a plan. There is no save point in this area, and I'm kind of upset by that. Um, maybe if we go up, we can find a save point. That old man can wait. Because this video, this video's got to end. You know what? I'm going to call it apart, and I'll find a save point off screen, and I'll come back to you guys from there. So, um, I have been Shazel Games, and I would like to thank you guys for watching. And this has been Dust and Elysian Tale. Um... 
we did some nice things this episode. We made it through Sir Roman Caverns uh, inadvertently once again. And we have to help the Bopo find his fa uh, father some new medicine. So we're going to do that in the next episode. I got distracted. I lost my train of thought. La 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 la. So, um, so I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye.